We are make up of the membership make up of all federal employees, DC government and Department of Defense. Meaning, which means that we are active employee. We can also have retired and an associate member, but as an active member of government employees, of course, we uh, very have to be very careful of what we say in terms of belong to the PAC. So that's my disclaimer right away. But to answer the three questions, so we, we 2020, we'd be 35 years old. So we've been around. We are pretty big in size and, and number, but not, of course not in the dollar because we're non-profits. The, uh, we have chapter, we have membership all throughout the countries, pretty much every federal agency. So in that case, we are very powerful. Of course, our goal is the same thing as pretty much what An Anthony was saying like the earlier from yesterday. We promote leadership, we promote equality, we promote uh, training to get the people at the seat at the table. Oh, well, this one is pretty long, so sorry. Uh, that's not it. <laughs> so, so, but anyway. Um, but I think we can include my, the briefing into the package. You guys can review later it's on the website. So. Uh, so in terms of civic engagement, we, I can say that we are uh, indirectly supporting. Of course, we cannot be directly supported like we'll be a pack, but we indirectly support to get the membership, get the power of the people. Because all our members, all our members they all have families. They have a younger generation. Most of us is... Uh, actually, we have like four different generations in the membership in terms of from the baby boomer down to the new generation. So what we like to do is get them up there, get them to be the, the position where they can make decisions, they can help influence people. That's how our indirect in terms of civic engagement. Um, the other thing that I want to do is that as part of this, I went to the Alaska meeting with 8020 and AUC. One of the things FAPAC can bring to the team is that we, uh, even though we all cross nationwide, but most of the work's in D.C. So our brother and sister I mentioned before, some of the group that you're familiar with, Christy Chen is a friend of us, uh, the APAC, the Asian Pacific Congressional, the Kapal, the Argen, so all the major API organizations, we pretty much have a coalition and membership with it. And that's the key thing. And it's not just about our API, we also, uh, belong to a group called ANSEP, which is not just the Asian Pacific, but the black in, black in government, the Hispanic in government, the disability, the uh, globes. So that's what make up, I think the prediction well, why we want to do this is that in, uh, in a few years, the population in the United States would be mostly over 50% minorities. So that's very powerful for us to lay the foundation. So I would like also to mention, uh, I think I mentioned the SK and Anthony, we have a big leadership conference, we call it training, we don't call it conference anymore. Every year, all around the country, and it's always in May, and it's five days long, so I would like to extend the welcome, and we're gonna try to figure out how can we maybe put the CLUSA or AUC into part of the agenda to get all of you guys to be there. It's, next year, it's gonna be in Huntsville, Alabama, in combination helping out with NASA and the West Dome Arsenal of the Army. But in 2020, we'll be back in D.C. because of the election and also our 35th anniversary. So that's the goal, you know, to continue this effort. Maybe in Huntsville, we can actually even have a workshop talking about maybe how to promote API votes and how to continue like the second round, third round of these meetings. So you want me to talk about VAA a little real quick? Um, Vietnamese. Yeah, Vietnamese. So I get my other three minutes. So I. I started uh, a new organization for the Vietnamese American. Same thing, mostly in the DMV, uh, the Vietnamese American, they have many local national groups, but they don't talk to each other. Like both people, SUS, the Kit Duan, which is the community, local, the church. So what we like to do is that it's the same thing, is that right now we just start a year old. We also have a, a workshop, flagship workshop, but we like to get all the leaders, all the president, the chair of the Vietnamese organization to get together and to support effort like this, civic engagement, voting, equality, leadership. So I, that's just started. So, so I'm looking forward to get them involved too.